In this video, I will talk about how to monitor CPU and GPU temperatures while gaming. Fortunately, the process is fairly simple. It is only a matter of installing a free third-party software called MSI Afterburner. There are other utilities out there, but MSI Afterburner is considered the golden standard, and chances are that you won't need to install any other utility. But I will put the download links for MSI Burner and a few more utilities that you can use to monitor temperature in the description below. So let's get started. Go ahead and download MSI Afterburner. And to do this, visit the official website. Again, the download link is provided in the description below. Head over to the site and click Download Afterburner. This should start downloading the utility. I already have the utility installed, so I'm going to skip this step. Also, know that MSI Afterburner works for all systems. You do not need to have an MSI PC or an MSI GPU for Afterburner to work. Once the software is downloaded and installed, fire it up. This is what it should look like. So we are not too much concerned about what it shows on the main screen for now. Albeit, you can take a glance at your current GPU temperature on the bar here. So to monitor your GPU and CPU temperature while gaming, head over to settings by clicking the gear icon. Next, go to the monitoring tab. This tab should show you a list of all the sensors that you can monitor in game. So to show a particular sensor while playing a game, you have to press the check mark to enable the respective sensor first and then press the check box uh, that reads showing on screen display to show its live reading while playing. To monitor the temperature of the CPU and the GPU, you have to repeat the process for all the relevant sensors. So in my case, to monitor the temperature of my CPU, I will enable the sensor labeled as CPU temperature as well as CPU 1 through CPU 8. And then I will go ahead and press the checkbox showing an on-screen display for each of these sensors. Note that uh, the label of each of these sensors under the properties column changes in changes to in OST as I press the checkbox, indicating that these sensors will be monitoring live in game. Also note here that the main CPU temperature sensor here without any number in front of it, monitors the overall temperature of your CPU. The rest of the sensors monitor the temperature of each thread. I have a 4 core and 8 thread CPU in my PC, hence the fact that I can see CPU 1 through CPU 8 temperature sensors. So if you do not want to see the temperature for each individual thread, simply leave them unchecked and only have the main CPU temperature sensor enabled. Now we have to repeat the process for the GPU. So now I have to look for the GPU temperature sensors to enable them. Here it is, it reads uh, GPU 1 temperature. And uh, note that since I have two GPUs in my PC, one is the integrated Intel HD630 and the other is the discrete NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, I have to figure out which GPU the GPU 1 temperature sensor here corresponds to. For this, head over to the general tab and look for the first drop down menu. Here you can identify that the GPU 1 refers to the discrete NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti whereas GPU 2 refers to the integrated HD 630 graphics. Since the 1050 Ti is of interest to me for gaming, I can go ahead and enable the sensor in the monitoring tab. By the way, I can also change the in-game name for the sensor. So I will change uh, this to GTX 1000. 50 Ti. Also note that there is no sensor here for monitoring the temperature of GPU 2 or my integrated graphics card. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't show, perhaps it is the limitation of the utility. But in case you want to check the temperature of your integrated GPU, there is a workaround solution with another utility called GPU-Z. So with all the necessary sensors enabled, I can go ahead and fire up a game. So here I am playing a game. You can see here on the top left corner, the real-time monitoring of all the sensors be enabled. In case if you cannot see the readings, press Alt-O. This by default toggles the readings on and off. The readings of my CPU, as you can see here, isn't ideal at all. So either my laptop needs a deep cleaning or the cooling design of my laptop is just bad. 
By the way, you can also change the color, the size of the text and also rearrange the sensors in different columns in the settings of the utility. Another neat aspect about MSI Afterburner I want to show you are the charts. These charts can allow you to see the historical data of the sensors you enabled. In the main screen of the utility, check this monitor icon which should open up a window showing charts with all the readings the utility took. Here for instance, you can see the a minimum and the maximum temperature your CPU recorded within a certain period. So when you're playing a game, you cannot obviously have your eye on the temperatures all the time. Therefore, the max temperature shown here particularly can give you a great insight into how your components are performing. Also, in case if the MSI Afterburner is malfunctioning, you can try out different utilities like CPU Temp and GPU-Z. For instance, as I mentioned earlier, MSI Afterburner for some reasons does not allow me to see the temperature of my integrated graphics card. Fortunately, GPU-Z has that capability. The only issue with GPU-Z is that it does not show the readings in-game. I talk in detail about GPU-Z and CPU Temp in the article linked in the description below. So there you have it. This is my preferred way of how to monitor CPU and GPU temperatures while gaming. If you know any other or simpler way, let us all know. If you have any more questions for me, just leave them in the comments below. Also, if you have learned something from this video, I would appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe to my channel.